Hey everyone, it's Desi Chang, and this right here is the Nike Sportswear RPM 2.0 26 liter backpack. So in this video, I'm gonna be telling you about what really intrigued me to buy this bag in the first place, as well as go through all of the major kind of improvements that can be done to this bag. Uh, I'll go through all of the features, and at the very end, I'll hopefully help you decide whether this bag is gonna be right for you or not. So full disclosure, I did buy this bag myself and no one has asked me to do this. It's just gonna be based on my own personal thoughts and opinions. So first off, let's talk about what really drew me in to this bag. And that's just gonna be the overall style and aesthetic of it. Uh, in terms of size, it's a great size. It's not too big, it's not too small. I really like how it's got uh, this kind of tactical um, styling to it. It's got this, you know, this Molly uh, attachment point so you can hang a different pouches if you wanted to or not. Uh, and also like that has these skate Velcro skateboard straps. So if you wanted to throw on your skateboard, I don't skateboard, but if you wanted to, you can, or you can throw your jacket or carry other things externally. Uh, and then the other thing that kind of really drew me in are, you know, I really like bags that have two water bottle pockets because I'm a, I'm, I'm a dad, I got two kids, and so I'm constantly carrying their water bottles, my water bottle, an umbrella, um, so I really like those uh, external pockets. And lastly, the price, it's about 85 US dollars, so relatively much more inexpensive compared to a lot of the other bags that I'm reviewing. Now let's get into some of the cons and uh, areas where I can see improvement for this bag. The first thing is quality. It's made out of 100% polyester, so it feels a little bit on the cheaper side. And also the zippers, the zippers are not YKK, so zippers could break at any point. Some of the, one of the other negative things is the grab handle. Nothing too terrible, but it's because of this U shape, it's more like a three finger grab. I, I tend to kind of grab it with three fingers as opposed to using my full mitt. And if they could just square it off, that would have been great. Maybe even add more padding to the grab handle. Uh, the other thing I feel like can be improved is this water bottle pocket. The elastic is, it's, it's you know, there's no resistance. So this water bottle is gonna fall out. So either if they could include a cinch strap or use higher quality elastics, that would be great. The lack of internal organization for smaller items, such as pens or business cards or things like that. Uh, and then the other thing is also that it's lacking is it doesn't have a laptop, or sorry, a, a tablet sleeve. It does have a laptop compartment, but not in, if you wanna carry a tablet as well, yeah, it's pretty much going to, into just like the main compartment with everything else. I really wish they had a flat bottom or reinforced bottom with more padding so it could really just kind of stand up on its own. Um, now, it, the bag will stand up on its own, but it depends on the weight distribution and what you have inside the bag. So now let's kind of dive in through all of the features. So at the very front, you have this kind of molly webbing right here. Um, at the very bottom right now, it does have two accessory straps. If you wanted to, you know, put, uh, you know, yoga mat or jacket or anything like that, you can totally cinch it down to the bottom. Now the bottom is made out of a different type of material. It feels a little bit more rubbery, but it still has that kind of cheap feeling to it. Um, I wish they use a different fabric or material for this to make it more rugged um, to the elements. Uh, now, yes, it also has these kind of Velcro um, skateboard straps right here, so you can totally cinch up and load up your skateboard. On either side, they have these um, water bottle pockets that are stretchy. I just have some wet bites in there right now. But um, yeah, you can totally fit a larger water bottle. Uh, let's actually see if one a 32 ounce Nalgene will sit in there. So this is a 32 ounce Nalgene water bottle and it does. So this is great, it does fit a bigger bottle. But one note is that it will eat into space into your main volume. Uh, oh yeah, also on the side where that water bottle pocket uh, was, it does have a zippered for a small accessories that you can kind of fit in there. But again, if you have a larger water bottle, that's gonna push out on this and you won't be able to put um, too thick of items, just kind of thinner, smaller items. And that's pretty much it. Um, looking at the top right here, there is a zipper for, and that's fleece line. And there is, a, that's a sunglasses pocket. It kind of goes down to about right here. So it's fairly deep. You can throw your sunglasses and wallet and keys and 
everything else in there. Uh, now let's move on into the main compartment here. So zipper opens up. Right now I just have my camera sleeve, so just take that out. So inside the main compartment, at the back there is a Velcro. Um, Velcro with small little pockets, not padded or anything, but if you just kind of throw one to throw like your laptop charger or anything like that, that would be a great spot. Um, other than that, it's just kind of one big large open space. There is a zippered mesh pocket on this one side for you to uh, stash smaller accessories that you wanted. Um, but again, there's no organizational elements to it. And uh, that's essentially it. And then let's get into the laptop compartment. So the laptop compartment is at the very back right here. And it's just kind of one big open space. Um, yeah, the one good thing is it is uh, suspended. So when you, if you put your laptop, it will not hit the bottom of the bag. It is suspended and it's like somewhere around uh, maybe up here-ish. So you don't have to worry about your laptop hitting the ground. Uh, now let's look at the back panel right here. Um, it does have that Nike logo, which is nice. And I like that it has some horizontal strips right here. So if you want to hang your sunglasses, you can totally do that. Uh, it does have a simple adjustable sternum strap. And same thing with the sternum strap, it, I mean the sternum buckle. It feels a little bit on the cheaper side compared to a lot of the uh, buckles that I've used in other backpacks. So yeah, this is kind of like a cheap thing. Even the, the straps right here, they kind of feel a little bit rough and thin and cheap. Uh, and then here, the cinch straps as well. Again, same thing. They're thin, cheap, but, but they do the job. So now let's look at the straps. Now it's got some decent padding to make it comfortable. However, again, I wish that has, there was some more air mesh to it to give it a little bit more breathability. And then it is padded on, uh, on either side right here, which is nice. But uh, this side right now, it's just got one ventilation channel down the middle. So nothing too substantial. So to conclude, I really like the look and styling of this bag. Unfortunately, it's not made of the best materials. However, uh, Nike, if you are listening, if you can make a another version of this, but maybe like a pro or premium version of this, I would definitely buy it in a heartbeat. Uh, use, you know, better quality materials, give it more structure, um, just give it a little bit more life. That would be awesome. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this in-depth review of the Nike Sportswear RPM 2.0 26 liter backpack. And if you want to see me do more of these, please like and subscribe. And definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31.